this is the lucky zero. The best handheld for under $250. The best shoulder buttons I've ever pressed. Three buttons on the back. RGB on the thumbsticks on the side. A USB-C port, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card reader. Power buttons and volume buttons on the top. This awesome thing is a full-on Windows 11 device. This means anything that works on Windows will work on this device. Be it Steam, Microsoft, or even emulation. This is Frogstar, and I'll tell you why this is the best budget device available right now. This is one of the most premium feeling cases I've ever felt. Feels way better than the Ally. The thumbsticks also feel very premium and are more comfortable than the Ally. But the thumbsticks upon being pressed are extremely loud. The buttons sort of have a DS Lite feel to them and I could click them all day. Like I said before, I have never felt better triggers in my life. There's a D-pad and two buttons on the back and there's nothing noteworthy about that. But there's a problem, it's not very ergonomic to hold. I have small hands for a man and I still find that my hands are too big for this device. I can't naturally press the triggers or move the analog sticks. So personally, I couldn't play on this device for hours. The Lucky Zero has a 6.9 inch IPS screen and looks incredible for the price tag. The major letdown is the responsiveness of the touchscreen. It also feels odd once the screen protector is applied. If you exclude the responsiveness of the touchscreen, I really like the screen. Well, for battery life, expect closer to one and a half hours, especially if optimizing for performance intensive games. But I assume this uncomfortable design will have you setting this down before you need to recharge. Regarding gaming, I used the pre-installed Windows 11, installed and tried games from Steam, set advanced power settings to maximize performance. Counter-Strike 2 worked great on low settings, you can see it works great, the only issue is you can't play competitive games on this, but as a casual experience it worked great. More demanding games struggled and wouldn't even play. For more demanding games you can run them via cloud play, granted you have a good internet connection, so it kind of defeats the meaning of portability. Personally, I would boot from Jellos and ditch Windows OS. You can see in my blog how to install it. If you do have any issues, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can help you. You can see with Jellos as the front end, it's not as laggy and feels like it was made for this device. Now let's mess with some emulation. Mario 3D Land worked great. Pokemon X, which is also a really demanding game, worked great. GameCube games also worked great, like Mario Kart Double Dash and Smash Bros. I did try Nintendo Switch emulation like Mario Odyssey and Pokemon Violet and it did struggle. But bear in mind, the Steam Deck can barely emulate those games as well, so it's really impressive. So you may ask, do I recommend the Lucky Zero? And I say it depends. If you want to play emulation games, and I say go for it. However, if you want to play games on Steam or PC gaming, I wouldn't recommend it. Finally, let me know in the comments below if you're buying the Lucky Zero.